Hi, Dr. Ten, everyone. Today we are from Group 5 and we're going to present our assignment 2 for this VIP 3172 Reflective Practice. We're going to start with the, pre with the first presenter. Greetings to Dr. Ten and my groupmates. So I'll be taking the introduction part. As for introduction, ESL is crucial worldwide as a global lingua franca, enabling communication across different countries. Learning English facilitates connections, job opportunities, and access to education. Exploring ESL teaching methods and tools not only improves teaching quality, but also fosters supportive, culturally sensitive learning environments. Benefits of English proficiency are enhances reading, learning, articulation, critical thinking, problem solving, and overall academic performance. The purpose of this report is to contemplate the significance of being an, of being an effective ESL teacher to ensure the implementation of optimal teaching methodologies for students. We are, that's all moving to the next presenter. Okay, thank you, Emily. Uh, as for my part, I will be presenting regarding uh, critical analysis. So, as for critical analysis, there are three categories, which is technical, practical, and critical. For technical analysis, the teacher have a clear teaching method and strategies such as discussion and student engagement, inclusive practices, and active teacher-student interaction. Um, and as for practical analysis, the teacher have a good presence and demeanor. Use effective illustration to enhance the student's understanding and excellent interaction between the teachers and the students. And lastly, as for the critical analysis, there is a good and active engagement for the students, such as the students themselves volunteering to answer and using relatable questions to keep the students engaged and hope during the task. And that's all for me. Next presentation. Okay, thank you, Roshni. As for my part, I'll be presenting about the issue. There are two issues that were found in the video. Firstly, limited assessment opportunities. The session was lacked with sufficient opportunities for assessing students' understanding and learning progress. This is because the teacher might not be fully aware of the diverse assessment methods and their benefits. And this will lead to the decrease of motivation of students to actively participate in the learning process and further add to this engagement. In the future, the teacher should start introducing formative assessments, fostering peer assessments, utilizing technology to provide immediate feedback, encouraging self-assessment opportunities, and striking a balance between formative and summative assessments. For example, the teacher can use online platforms like quizzes and instant polls to assess student learning during class and she can assign final projects to assess students' understanding both immediately and overall. Secondly, the placing of the size of the visual aid. The placing for the visual aid in the classroom is too low and the size is too small. The size of the visual aid is as same as the size of a TV screen. This might be because of the limited resources where the budget constraints may limit the school's ability to invest in appropriately sized visual aids or optimize their placement. Not only that, but also the classroom configuration, which means the physical layout of the classroom may pose challenges in finding an ideal location for the visual aids. On the other hand, students may find it more difficult to notice and understand the information that is presented and this could lead to a decrease in student involvement which would affect the educational process as a whole. Despite the limitations of visual aids, the teacher can overcome the problem in the future by implementing teaching tactics that actively involve students. For example, encouraging discussions, group activities or hands-on exercises that enhance the use of the available screen. That is all from me. Moving on to the next presenter. Good greetings. As for strengths, there were two points that were taken for strengths. First is what? The teacher showcase teaching methods and materials to improve instruction in the classroom. This is because the tutor used visual aids such as slide presentation to convey the messages to the students. So, by using slides, it provides a visual presentation of information which makes it easier for students to understand. So, in future, we need to encourage the using of visual aids to offer benefits that contribute to effective teaching. The second point was the tutor established positive engagement with students. This is because 
she created opportunity for students to participate in class discussion by asking questions. This will help and encourage participation by critical thinking skills as students able to evaluate, synthesize, and apply knowledge. So in upcoming times, teachers must encourage participation as it benefits students both academically and personally. Thank you. Thank you, Priscilla. So moving on to the next part, which is the witnesses. When we observe the video, we realize that there are two witnesses in the teacher teaching skills. First of all, the teacher lacks in utilizing other methods to students' understanding and in progress. So why do we think that this is an issue? Is because uh, the teacher will not be aware if there are students that do not understand the lecture as she is only using the questioning method and it is impossible for her to ask questions to all students in one lecture. As a consequence, some students might feel lost and feel a bit left out in the class. So what teachers can do to solve this issue is, in the future, teachers can implement quizzes or other activities at the end of the lecture that all students can answer simultaneously and discuss the answer together. The second uh, weakness that we found is the visual aid is placed too low and the size of the display screen is too small. This is, uh, this is uh, an issue because students who sit at the back and fall from the display screen will not be able to see the slides and participate in the games. As a result, they will feel bored and disengage themselves from the lecture and hence uh, the input of the lecture will not be able to be delivered well to all students. So what teachers can do is in the future, Teachers should take their own initiative to ensure that the visual aids are well displayed by using an alternative such as using a projector so that it is viewable to all students. That's all for my part. Now I'll pass it to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Shazana. So in conclusion, uh, to be a wonderful ESL teacher uh, by chasing the 2020-20 vision, it is important for ESL teachers to reflect on the four elements which are critical analysis, issues, strengths and weaknesses of a lesson to know how to engage with, well with their students. We need to try our best to understand that the students need, um, no, we need to try our best to understand that the student needs and come up with a modern way to guide them in class. In the future, teachers can do a student interest survey to know their preference in learning methods and make the class more interesting for them. So that's all from us. 